Howdy, 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 my beautiful Taurus. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading for June, darling. All right. So if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, Taurus, be sure to check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign to get the full spectrum of what's going down in your life in specific, darling. All right. Um, as well, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Taurus. All right. If you're not subscribed already, darling, what is it that you are doing, darling? Why are you not part of this family? All right. All righty. So let's get right into this tarot reading here today for you, Taurus. Let's see what's going on with you guys at this current point in time all right so and then we have the death card in the back of the deck here darling all right so for you guys right now Taurus, y'all are in this place of where you know i wouldn't be surprised if you guys have been in this place of where you've been putting up some strong boundaries with people all right where people situations i feel as if right now you're not afraid of cutting people off if it if the time calls for it sometimes the time doesn't even call for it you know it's like you wake up and you're just like oh you want to be cut off too you you know it's, you just are no longer tourists or in this place of trying to make things work out in your life if the if it's not meant to be if it's gonna be it'll be all right i feel like for you guys you have been way too patient tourists when it comes to certain situations where it's just like oh you know it's kind of like that you know that narrative where it's just like oh they'll change they're change they'll change they'll change and you realize that things are never actually going to change with them and so you are at this point in time for you tourists where you're just like you know what if it's not serving me to my highest benefit right now do away with it you're not because you realize at this point in time Taurus, that it's just like it's a full-time job for us to just live our own lives darling right you can no longer afford being patient with these other people these other situations trying to figure themselves out while you're just sitting here it's just like darling i got bills to pay here darling all right and you got a life to live here so for you Taurus, i feel like y'all are just in this place of where you've been patient you maybe you've been asking the universe even or your spiritual team or whatever you're just like i want this i want to manifest this or whatever it's you're just done asking all right some of you guys i wouldn't be surprised Taurus, if you are even turned off when you hear people talk about manifesting and all of this because or law of attraction because i feel like for you guys Taurus, you're just in this place of being like like you're craving something of more substance you're just like no like you need something to actually hold on to to something for you to be grabbing on to you don't want, you no longer want to be in this place of like thinking about best case scenario for all these things and those scenarios are actually never actually manifesting or manifesting quick enough for you because as i said beforehand darling we got bills to be paying darling tick tock on, on the clock right now I feel like for some of you Tauruses, the reason why you've been pushed to this point is because you were just you you saw the potential in so many people i would yeah i mean you want to say people especially with that court card coming in here taurus like you saw the potential in so many people and it's just like it's just been very un like it just is no hasn't been worth it for you anymore right your time yeah with this magician energy you're putting matters into your own hands here darling right the magician energy they are the ones that are how can you see me taurus oh well they whatever they're the ones Taurus, that it's like they are ready to create all right the magician while yes in some cases someone could argue that's like the magician is all about manifesting but it's like the magician is just like they use all the tools in the toolbox to create something into the physical in the now the uh, the magician acknowledges where it is that they are at in the world what it is that they where their potential is and they no longer are interested in uh asking permission from other people or like uh uh, delegating energies or sources to other people because you realize the only one that you can really rely on is just yourself here right and that's really like the, what the queen of swords really encapsulates right is the queen of swords realizes that i mean it's gonna sound bad but people are expendable right not that people are expendable but it's just like people come and go like there's like the only one that you can really truly rely on and trust is yourself right and the queen of swords is not afraid of just being the queen of swords would rather be by themselves all right rather than having to give their energy or to rely on unreliable energies right and so i see for you guys right now towards like that's the best case scenario for you guys that's the best thing you, you could be asking for your like getting into this mindset of finally taking matters into your own hands instead of focusing in on just like law of attraction and just allowing things to come when it comes right you know there's like that, that quote where it's just like you don't chase you attract and at this point in time for you Taurus i feel as if you're done trying to have things attract to you and you are now going to maybe not chasing after one specific thing i mean chasing after what it is that you're trying to manifest here right with that pentacle energy here 
but um you're just ready to be on your own journey here all right and i feel like by you choosing to start taking matters into your own hands that's when you <laughs> eight of wands energy darling right that's when you start getting the fast forward movement here i see for a lot of you guys here strong success once you start having a little bit more independence your path is coming to a place is shaping up to a place of where you are going to be independent so if you've been trying to make some sense uh Taurus of like why certain things have been happening to you at this current point in time or why certain people have been disappointing to you I feel like the main reason is due to that is just because like you your path is being pushed to this point of where it's time for you to just be this magician waking up the internal magician that we all have inside of us here right no longer putting trust in other people right because it's like when you finally start just relying just on yourself that's when the progression happens all right when you finally stop asking the universe to manifest things for you or even your, like your spiritual team and trust and believe darling right i i've been a spiritual practitioner for over 16 years darling i have a very close relationship with my my spirit guys my ancestors you know my spiritual team but there's a time and a place where sometimes you just have to just be to yourself darling all right because you know while yes it's great and fabulous to connect to these otherworldly energies you're the one that's living in the now all right you're the one that's living in the now and sometimes people get caught up in this loop of thinking that they're just going to attract everything and if they just focus on the positive mindset that it's just going to happen right in front of them right it's going to come to them on a silver platter and that's just not the reality of it all right I see for some of you guys a big message here Taurus is like the moment you start being that queen of swords and usually my regulars already know Taurus and I'm the first one to just be very cutting towards or dismissive of the queen of swords because I feel like when it's not in a balanced place uh, why are you not focusing on Miss Mama here let me hide my face here whatever you know uh, i feel i'm pretty critical of it because if it's not coming from a balanced place the queen of swords you end up being alone um and not having anybody because you're being too critical here but for you guys here taurus like it's just this consistent message of where it's just like the people that you have been putting your trust and energy and in, energy into they've just disappointed you darling they've just done nothing but disappoint you all right you have the knight of wands coming in here all right and so these two court cards coming in i feel as like for i feel as if for you guys Taurus, at this current point in time it's like you are at a you're at a certain place right now where like your your environment it makes sense for you in the sense of where it's like you have the circle you have the social group here and you developed the social group at a certain time and place of your life here but you know as time has gone on you have evolved it seems like some of these other energies have not evolved all right and that's where the problem is and so I see the more that you start claiming this magician energy, all right, that's when you start finding people that are more so not not any more or less part of your tribe, but people that actually help motivate you. All right. People that help drive you. You know, this is very much so like the cliche tours where it's just like maybe beforehand you're used to having all these friends that are just like wants to go out, go out and party all the time and nothing wrong with partying, honey. Right. I feel like there's like a toxic uh, relationship spiritual people have when it comes to people, humans just enjoying human things. But, you know, you can't expect to you can't expect to be able to build a, a successful company or business or what have you with the same people that you party with right if the, if you are if you're at a place where it's just like everyone around you just wants to party but you're at this place now where you're just like all right this partying it's good and fine and dandy darling but you want to be around people that actually want to talk about what it is that they want to build with their future. You need to, you Taurus at this current point in time, need to start surrounding yourself with people that are more passion oriented. You don't want to be around people that are like, yes, men. You don't want to be around people that um, you want people that want that challenge you. All right. This is really a time for you to get out of your comfort zone. <clears throat> Not me losing my voice here. You have the full energy coming in here. This is what I'm talking about here, Taurus. All right. The moment you start letting go of what it like this past here. All right. Because I'm being shown the 10 of wands now. The moment you finally, Taurus, I need to hide my face every time I show these cards. Like, the moment you finally exude that queen of swords energy and start finally in a corny way like claiming your own power here uh taurus you're going to be attracting the right people again around you so if you are afraid of cutting people out at your current point in time because you're you don't want to be alone that's going to be replaced by people that are um, more that'd be more matching of your energy at this current point in time 
And so for a lot of you guys, Taurus, you know, the full energy, they don't play it safe, right? They don't play it safe. The, the full energy that is the epitome of um, taking that leap of faith, taking a risk with something and having nothing with you besides um, usually the, uh, the full energy is portrayed by uh, someone just standing at the edge of a cliff and with nothing but their little satchel and their dog, right? And so you don't carry much with you. And I feel like some of you guys need to remember that, Taurus, is like when you're going to be claiming this new chapter of your journey, whether this is you choosing to start a business, whether this is you starting to, you're just having this craving of having more connections that have more substance that like make you feel more alive again right you have to come at it from a place of a clean slate and the only way that you have that clean slate is if you make yourself uncomfortable for a little bit to have that clean slate right you have to remove a lot so don't try to make up carry a bunch of energy over into this new chapter right because that's where your main problem here is taurus is with this devil energy you don't like and I know this can sound kind of dismissive or villainizing, and I don't mean it in a villainizing way, darling, right? You could have very wonderful people around you, right? But it's at this point in time, you know, 10 of swords in the back of the deck here, 10s representing closures to cycles, Taurus. It's at this point in time, like, it served its purpose here. And I feel like at this point in time, all I would do if you were to bring these old energies in is to further obstacles in your life, further complicate things for you, Taurus. And so what I want to be telling you at this current point in time, if you're noticing seeing certain people if you're noticing certain events or things just in your, in your environment that are starting to complicate themselves or starting to burst at the seams kind of pushing you to this place of having to start fresh in a way just lean into this energy more the more you get again you really want to remember this magician energy where you are taking back your power here because that's when the fabulousness comes right with the sun energy and the ten of pentacles in the heart of this energy here like you really can't get a better spread than this um you guys right now taurus are just at the your y'all's reading is the epitome of the five people the five closest people around you right now taurus is very much so um telling of like where your life is going to be and so evaluate the five closest people that are around you evaluate what it is that you're spending your time and energy on and ask yourself is this really serving you anymore all right because i feel like for a lot of you guys it's not really serving you anymore it's just stuff that's comfortable to you at this current point in time and just because you're comfortable doesn't mean that you are growing right it's really kind of the opposite it's like if the moment the moment you're too comfortable darling that's when um things really don't start uh being created for you so that's the tarot reading that i have for you taurus all right hopefully something in this reading resonated with you darling if it did be sure again to give this video a like and subscribe i do weekly zodiac readings every single week to darling so be sure to check it out check out all my readings if you want to book a private reading with me taurus my website's always linked down below simply welcome dot com and i actually just opened up my uh, live readings again so i love you so much taurus and hopefully i can connect with you sometime in the near future darling all right bye